I think I want to start by 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 um, by addressing the uh, the um, the recommendations on systematic medical follow up. This was one of the the issues that we didn't find any evidence um, to inform our decisions about. Uh, there were no studies that had investigated the the um, um, the value of follow up in in patients with dementia. But I think as clinicians, um, and that's why we we made a a, a, a a recommendation on 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 uh, that that patients with dementia should be follow up is that that we have a clear feeling that that this is necessary in these patients that have dementia that they are followed regularly and that it's pre planned so that um, it is not up to the patient with dementia to seek out medical attention but that they are seen regularly because as I said um, patients with dementia might not notice that they have certain symptoms or they might not remember. Uh, and thus might not report it to the physician. Um, I think, of course, antipsychotics in 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 uh, in patients with dementia is something that has been uh, the focus of much research and uh, much attention as well. But I think we still have a long way to go to ensure that uh, patients with dementia who need antipsychotics, because we have patients that 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 have symptoms that need to be treated with antipsychotics. Uh, get the medication, but also that a lot of patients that at the present moment are treated with antipsychotics should not really not be on antipsychotics. So I think um, we came up with the recommendation that uh, for agitation and aggression, um, atypical antipsychotics um, um, should be chosen if it's needed uh, compared to haloperidol, an older antipsychotic, but that um, uh, if uh, non-pharmacological uh, interventions uh, should should be tried first uh, and is preferred over antipsychotics, I think this is an important uh, recommendation. We also recommend came up with a re recommendation on discontinuation of antipsychotics, and uh, that is um, if um, there are no uh, symptoms um, uh, that uh, can be treated with antipsychotics, then the antipsychotic antipsychotics should be uh, should be discontinued. Um, I think then lastly, I, I would want to address the fact that we also made some recommendations on vascular um, care in patients with dementia. And I think treating um, vascular risk factors in patients with dementia has the potential to be disease modifying um, because we know that vascular pathology leads to functional decline and decline in cognition. So if we can prevent some of this vascular pathology in the brain, then we can maybe also uh, delay or even halt the development of, uh, of dementia, at least in some patients. And, and I think that, that some physicians uh, might uh, be a bit hesitant in treating patients with dementia for vascular risk factors, for example, for hypertension. They might be um, concerned that uh, patients will become dizzy and fall, or they might be um, worried about uh, treating uh, patients with dementia with anticoagulants uh, due to the fact that they might not have uh, perfect compliance. And I think here we come up with recommendations for uh, both treatment with um, anticoagulants as well as, as for uh, vascular care. And I think it really just needs to be um, designed and, and managed uh, with uh, uh, the fact uh, um, that patients with dementia have some special needs, but it doesn't prevent them from, from being able to receive this treatment.